At a party, everyone shook hands with everybody else. There were 66 handshakes. How many people were at the party? We are going to explain it from the very beginning. Suppose we have two persons. So, there is one handshake. If we have three persons, one, two, three. So, the handshakes are one, two, three. So, there are three handshakes. Now, if we have four persons, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So, there are six handshakes. Now, if we have five persons, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten handshakes. Now we can write three is equal to two plus one, six is equal to three plus two plus one, and ten is equal to four plus three plus two plus one. So look at the pattern. Now if we have six persons, we can write five plus four plus three plus two plus one following the same pattern which is equal to fifteen. Now if we have n plus one persons, so the handshakes will be sum up to n. And we know that sum up to n is what? It's 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to this. So, now if we have seven persons, there will be how much handshakes? Just we will use the formula 6 into 6 plus 1 divided by 2 and that will be equal to 21. Now we are coming to our question. In our question we have 66 handshakes. So n into n plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 66 and we have to find the n then we can write n plus 1. We can simplify this n square plus n is equal to 132. Then we can write n square plus n minus 132 which is a quadratic equation. And then we can solve this quadratic equation by quadratic formula or by factorization. Suppose by factorization we are writing n square plus 12 n minus 11 n minus 132 is equal to 0. Here we will take n common. So n into n plus 12 minus 11 n into n plus 12 is equal to 0 n plus 12 into n minus 11 is equal to 0, n is equal to minus 12 or n is equal to 11. So, we are finding the number of persons, so n is equal to 11 and we cancel the negative. So, n plus 1 persons, so 11 plus 1 is equal to 12. So, the answer for this question is 12. So, if we have 12 persons, there will be 66 handshakes, 12 persons, so 66 handshakes. So, now we can solve any question like this. If we have given the number of persons, so we can find handshakes and if there are handshakes, we can find number of persons. Suppose we have 10 persons, In this, look at this example, if we have 10 persons, there will be how much handshake, you just put n and n is 9 because we are writing 10 is n plus 1. So, and this is equal to 45. So, if we have 10 persons, there will be 45 handshakes. No, if we have 45 handshakes, we have to find 10 persons. So, we will write n into n plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 45 
and we can write it n square plus n is equal to 90 and n square plus n minus 90 is equal to 0 which is again a quadratic equation and we can solve any quadratic equation by factorization or by quadratic formula. So, by factorization is equal to this n is equal to minus 10 or n is equal to 9. So, cancel this take n is equal to 9. So, the number of person will be n plus 1. So, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So, if we have given number of persons, we can find handshakes and if handshakes are given, we can find number of persons. If you have any question, please ask in the comment section. Like the video, share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.